Morning, fam. How we doing? Breaking Dean's back for the week. It's Monday, new week. I'm ready to go. What's up, Restart Coon? How you doing, man? Good to see you. The Hound is doing good, man. He is officially a Fenrir. I think you saw that, but uh, he's killing it, man. Good stuff. But um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Breakfast is in tow. I have my donuts ready. 
as per usual. Check it out. This is a, such a big breakfast, but woo, woo, it looks even larger today. That's what she said. Yeah, man, this right here, if this doesn't fill you up, then I guess you're a glutton. I don't know. So anyway, Saturday was a huge success with my students. They played an amazing recital. That was the best recital I've ever hosted in my life, 100%. At some point, I'm going to have to regale you guys with some videos um, once I get like a collage made. I'm grabbing the wrong controller. So stupid. Okay. This guy is the controller, so. Oh my gosh. Again, I am so spoiled on the uh, PC version right now, so. Also, last couple episodes when playing music. Yep, I got dinged. I didn't get struck, but I got dinged. Uh... From copyright claims so I was not able to share the uh, revenue or whatever or do any monetization which is fine I don't really care um, but if we're going to do that then we have to make sure that we're you know being extra careful so the playlist that I'm listening to currently is from Riot Games the League of Legends developers themselves um, they made a playlist on Spotify dedicated to creators so all this right here is creator safe music that I don't have to worry about being demonetized from. And they're bangers. They're they're catchy. So, anyways, enough about that. I don't remember how to play on the Switch. <laughs> I've been playing so much PC. It's been crazy. Trying to catch up on uh, getting my first playthrough done. And it's going really well. It's very close. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that I have to redo basically everything all over again from the PC version. But that's okay. Green screen is stunting. What the hell is going on with you? Hang on. Uh, filters. Boom. Very strange. Why were you stunting today? There we go. So that'll work. Yeah. All right. Let's move. One, two, and three. All right. Hopefully, the music isn't too loud. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. Got some Mega Man vibes going on right there, man. Need to put this up on so I can make room for my breakfast. But if I don't have it right in front of me, I'm not gonna eat it. I mean, I will eat it, but it'll take way too long to eat. Can't be stunting like I did last time. So, can I actually grab these? I can. I I cut down on the syrup, <laughs> so I can actually hold these now. But there's a layer of syrup. I'm. Mm. On top of these things, dude. Woo! Okay. Still a banger every morning. That'd be kind of fun to do, you know, um, is to... Like, it's not... This is clearly not a fitness channel. However, if people ever ask questions about my fitness journey or my food that I eat, I will 100% make a uh, short recipe video on all these things. If people are interested. I would love to do that, actually. Fun. Hmm. How to approach without not, without getting uh, suicided. Hmm. I think the right side might be my best bet. Try to go after the priest. That might be the call. I can protect her. Just gotta be careful of magic. We've got plenty of magic here from Augustus. That MP is crazy. Breath attacks there, hitting the ways, all that good stuff, rock throws. Wyvern should evade, you know, most physical attacks, but sometimes we're not so lucky. And we are going in a row. I may hold off one more turn. Yeah. I think I'm going to hold one more turn. Works for me. Alright. How's everybody doing this morning? Let me know how the weekend went for you guys. Mine was superb. One of the best weekends ever, man. Let's see. That's breath right there, so. Boom.
No magic. And then no uh, breath attack range there. I think we pop a uh, fighting focus at the moment. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. One, two, three. Man, the, the castle hex. If I want to get the castle hex, I have to be here. I can protect the siren, but it's going to be two more turns. Hmm. Well. Two, three, four. Yeah. We'll go here for now. I may try and charm the the wizard, which would be amazing because you know Geno Flame on the entire army. Yes, please. So if I'm gonna do that, the siren needs to take this spot right here. I can breath the priest from here if he stays where he is. Okay. Having a long weekend. I'm still not back at work until Thursday. Nice, man. Till Thursday. Damn. When's your weekend start? Was it Friday? Like a whole week. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be hanging out with the friends tomorrow by uh, a seaside by seaside and chill. Man, that sounds amazing. Fantastic, dude. Good stuff. Good day, Taro. How are you, man? So, Yeah. This week's going to be good, man. I'm uh, excited to relax with some Brigandine and then release some new content on the PC version, which is coming very soon. I'm trying to put my time into that first playthrough to get it done, and it's taking a little bit, but, you know, I gave myself some uh, you know, cheat codes there to make sure I get through it as quickly as possible. AKA uh, experience times two and revival stones per turn, all that good stuff, so that's fun. But, uh, yeah, we want the good stuff, right? We want to get to the creator mode. All right. Army, you're going to have to adjust here. I'm coming around the right side. Yeah, a little bit of adjustment. Mm-hmm. Now she can afford to go in. You need to get here for sure. Boom. Killing the elemental would be amazing. Yeah, man. So, how are you enjoying your playthroughs? Your, uh, did you finish up your first one? If so, who'd you uh, pick to fight? Nice crit. Really, you can still move. Hmm. I don't think I want to, to be honest. Right here. Hmm. I think we need to go ham on the elemental to make sure it dies. Um, the Aspar's team should be able to get that, right? They were just the the bird. And then him himself. Gotta be careful though, because I'd be putting him in range of um, magic attacks and stuff. So yeah, gotta protect him. Okay. I don't like the unit spread up this way for the bird. Um, so I think we're gonna do this number here. It's level one, so. It's fine. What's up, Tech? How you doing, man? Good morning, good morning. I got a super early start this morning, man. I don't know what happened, but I woke up at 6 and I felt refreshed. I didn't go back to sleep, so uh, I don't know what happened there. But, um, yeah, anyway. That right there. It's good evasion, but I want the golem to go there, really. So, we're going to put you here. Actually, no. No, 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 no. I want this thing to hit the elemental for sure because of sky, but... 
I think Gaspar needs to go here. Yeah, to create that little pocket. There we go. Good morning, Trouble. What's up, man? How are we doing today? Day off today for you, man. Right? Okay, this spot sets up charm for the wizard. One, two, three, four. Yep. The priest moved, so I can't breath him. I don't want to move out of the water, but I mean, I have a choice. Although, I could set that up right there. Abandon the right side like I was doing. Let me see this. Good. Hmm. Fur is what? Level one. Okay, they're fodder. Well, it's made a miracle, though. But... And we'll try to keep it around. Fine. I think here is good because they can't get to the mermaid. <clears throat> um, back to work after my uh, streaming vacation. Feels so bad. <laughs> yeah, man. So work hard, man. So, are you? Uh, did you finish up Guy Mool? may be a more appealing spot for you. You have two breaths. You can also get over here. Actually, hang on. This might be the more appealing spot because I can breath this way. Dark? Yeah. Wait, no, I can't get up there. Yeah, this is better right here. Let's see. No work for you? Heck yeah, man. Enjoy the day off. Night off, I guess. I just finished uploading my second LP I did on Twitch to my YouTube channel. Awesome. Slowly uh, archiving my stuff there. Fantastic, man. Excellent. So, um, By the way, if you would like... Um, like, are, are you, You're doing Brigandine stuff, right? If you're doing any Brigandine stuff, if you want a separate channel inside the Discord server to post your stuff... Feel free, like whenever you go live, you know, like we post our streams when we go live in that section in the Discord channel. By all means, let me know. DM me and I'll uh, get you set up. First encounter with death in Vampire Survivor. Did you really? Oh, man. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> Apparently, though, I'm like, you can do damage to him, but... I think I saw in the achievements is um, to survive death one time. I'm pretty sure um, that was there. Check the unlocks on the main screen and see if there's something in there about death. But yeah, man. Good stuff. You technically beat the level at that point, right? Oh no, the challenge is to survive death past a minute. Right, so when he appears at 30 minutes, you have to survive it a full minute to unlock the achievement. I'm not sure what the achievement is, though. Didn't have the, uh... The what? Oh, the levels. Levels, teams, items to win. So I'm going to have to do the Phantom's End Quest a bit before I try again. Got you. Um, still playing mostly Metroidvanias in games I wanted to finish uh, for a good time. Heck yeah. You can beat him, just good luck with it, right? Right, so what's up, Kira? So, have you beat him? Hmm? Are you gonna flex right now? If you beat him, flex and check. It is possible to kill death. There's a character you get for it. Right, that's the achievement. You get a secret character. So, hmm. Let's figure that out and see how to do that. I'm curious. I did a run last night. 
with um, Mortacasio, or however you pronounce his name, the bone guy, right? That shoots the um, the bones that ricochet between the enemies and stuff. And I, I had a great run, um, but I had to beat a run with him or get him to level 100 to unlock another reroll. So, pretty good there. Okay, there's one Geno Flame down. Yep, that sucks. Yep, that sucks too. Hmm. We have not. Okay. When you do, flex it out in chat. <laughs> so. Ugh. My birds are going to be feeling it. They going to die. Oof. Okay. So the time is now to charm this dude. Assuming. Yeah, okay. I didn't even check for accessories. Hmm. Right, right. You told me that another death spawns. Um, I wasn't sure like what the threshold was, but it's per minute, huh? Okay. Interesting. So I guess the challenge would be is to see how many deaths you can kill or survive, should I say, over time. Maybe there's more achievements for surviving multiple. I don't know. Okay. We have to make sure that they don't cure this. That being the case, I cannot keep this thing in the water. Nice. The unicorn can reach that ghoul and that ghoul. <laughs> I hope it doesn't cure. Although you have a cure as well. And you're next. You got two cures coming in. Hmm. This actually doesn't work out too well, I don't think. Maybe he'll pop a holy word. And go for damage. I don't know. He's Team C. I'm trying to make sure I don't get this dude killed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, this, is, this is recovery. Right, right, right. Assuming I hit. Suck. Alright, let's commit. See what happens. Yep. Yep. We did it. We did it. Nice. Hmm. Someone this past week who survived to about 37 minutes. Wow. Seven deaths? That's crazy. Another death spawns every minute. Man. So wait, like, there was seven deaths on the screen? Or did he actually kill? Some of the deaths. Oh yeah, you just said it right there. Seven deaths on the screen at one time. God! What was his build? My goodness! Regale me. That's insanely good. Great. Place. Nice. Ugh, it's so weak because of their element. Realistically, though, there's nothing else to hit that's worthwhile. Maybe I can tag the sorcerer. 
It's 99. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Ugh. Dead wyvern. I don't know. This may be overstepping. One you rarely ever, if ever, use. Probably so. Good luck. God luck with um, weapons and perks. Yes. Lock Lancet. That makes sense. Yes. Freeze. So you can freeze death with the clock lance. That's broken. Okay. Hmm. It wasn't worth shooting him. He's gonna heal. Made a mistake. Not bad. Nice. Two charms. I've used the clock lens a couple times, but recently, no. I've just been trying to go ham on the best grinding builds, right? For money and shit. But, uh, I'm sure I'll be using that now. God, that's really loud, but really cool. Ooh, it's a kill. Trying to kill. Gotta love it, man. You get them to Geno Flame their entire army. It's broken. I have another charm here. Wow. Battle is very charming. Go here again? Two hounds charmed. No, we do a breath. We do a breath. Only I could charm the golem. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't be that much benef uh, benefit, really. That benefit. Really. Survive as long as he did. Also required using uh, Kurochi, right, because of extra revives. He had his revive upgrade. Uh, yeah, the Tiragasu. And max the Tiragasu for even more revives. Right, 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 right. So, makes sense. I mean, you have to, I would say. You just didn't have the DPS to kill death, even it's obscene HP for a level 100 plus person. Got you. Yeah, I think Kurochi is the secret. I may still charm the, the dog. Or save that. Well, no, I don't have to because he's he's spent. He can't even do a flame right now. That was the trump card right there. Team A is who? Kyle? Where is Kyle? Oh, he's right here. Yeah, I can't get to him very well. So, it's either this hound there, or the lizard. Probably the lizard, because it's fuller on health. Or I could do this serpent here. I think the lizard would be a good charm, just because it's a chance to block and stuff. Yeah. Man, if only. If only. Do I wait for him to come closer? You know what? I might bait him. I could potentially do that. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try to hit you. Nice. Nice crit as well. Damn. We have enough for a frost and a uh, charm song. My goodness, this Mer Shannon. He's killing it. Literally. Jaden is next. One heal there. One heal there. I 
can't reach to get that final kill with the bird, so I'm gonna have to kill the other uh, high dog there. Wait, I almost screwed up. I thought it was 65. Nope, we can't do that. We can't do that. I can do a resist, but we can't do a frost. Man, two MP away. So, uh, May Duika, welcome in. How are you doing? Or Made Duika, sorry if I'm mispronouncing the, the name there. This is, um, this is challenge mode, so you have to play on hard. Um, all the settings are set, so in stone, just basic hard mode. The custom difficulty settings are very um, limited. You can either allow or disallow monster captures. And then what's the other one? Help me out, fam. What's the other difficulty setting that you can change for challenge mode besides the monster capture? But yeah, this is hard mode. Georgie, what's up, man? How we doing? Welcome in. We're out of magic, though. There's no reason to use this. No. If I had a good hit in a way unit, sure. But I don't. Yeah, stand by. Okay. He healed it, obviously. It's right there. I want Kyle to come here. If possible. I hope he goes first. But he's got to heal, so he's probably going to stay back there and heal. I still want to save the charm for him. That golem was getting so lucky. Wow. Don't go there. You're still protected. Yep. Easy kill there. really want to hit anybody with the hound at the moment. It'd be nice to reach the uh, unicorn, but I can't. I suppose I could have moved. Didn't think about that. So. You're on death's door. <laughs> uh, God, I gotta retreat a lot of these units here. We got some healing to do. You got one. You got one. All right, Godspeed. <laughs> Let's see, how close to death are we with here? Uh, still quite a bit, but I'm still doing this. Yep. Pardon me. <clears throat> I think it's a lot more important for here because if I do bait him, I don't think I'm going to, but if I do, you got to stay healthy. I really want to heal the back line, though. Get them back in the fray. But I don't think it's going to work out. I think it's time to move you. Yeah. Or we can do that. Honestly, that seems appealing for this guy. Yeah, go. Hmm. I honestly don't think it'd be worth healing the backline at this point. I think my focus needs to go in front. 
like here. Yeah, I think the the wyvern and the rock are just out for the count. I'll use it for like maybe a safe kill, but right now I just can't make use of him. Prime wore off. That's fine. We did our. Uh... No, he plugged. Crap. No, he didn't. I still don't think Kyle's gonna come here, but yeah, fair enough. Okay, more work to do, I guess. I'm gonna have to retreat Gaspar, man. I don't know, this may be overstepping. That would be suicide, putting the Wyvern there. They may have low hit chance, but Am I willing to risk it? 60. Yeah. Not a good look. One. I can still reach the mage. I know it's 100%, but... Nothing else can get in there to hit him. Can't depend on a rock throw. I gotta kill more frontline. You still have breath left, so I need to I need to take this line down right here. Don't do Giga. Save save the uh MP. Jaytan, what's up? How we doing? I miss Salamander so much. Me too, man. Me too, but who knows? If the if the game turns out to be uh you know somewhat moddable, I'm hearing that's gonna be difficult to do that. But in any case, if it is, then maybe we'll see a mod of it. Be cool. Or better yet, see uh, a remake of Green Edition like they rumored in the in the past. Still haven't heard anything else on that, but yeah, welcome. Excuse me for stuffing my face. I still have two big ass donuts left right here. The boy is hungry. Everything's so weak. I cannot afford to attack. This is safer here. Go for it. I need to make room. I also need to retreat gas bar. Because if he gets hit by a dog and then Kyle, he's dead. This ghoul is definitely causing some annoyances today, huh? He still has protection on. And boy. Yeah, he has to get out of there. Okay. Do you have protect? Suck. Wow. I have to save this for Kyle, man. I have to. Yeah, he's 15. I'm sure eventually someone will find a way to, to mod it. I hope so, man. I'm, I'm really hoping for it, because if that takes off, this game is going to get a lot of notoriety after the fact. So, a lot. And I will showcase mods, too, on this channel. That will happen. Trust and believe. If they are good. <laughs> if they are good. Right? You have to be, you know, as bug-free as possible. I'll showcase mods even though even, even if they have bugs. But, um, because, you know, mods can be updated, clearly. But it has to be something, um, like, intuitive to the game where it's not, like, completely changing the entire aspect of what the game is, right? So, but, it, I'm not that 
picky about the mods, just, uh, you know, I'll be showcasing the mods in general. Um, can you, you mean to say share? Oh, you mean the recipe on my, uh, on my donuts? Yeah, I don't mind to do that, that's fine. I mean, if you want a tiny breakdown right now, if I can list it in order. Um, it's a lot. Because I need volume in the morning. I need the breakfast to be like the biggest meal of the day. And a lot of protein. Um, so, down the list. Here we go. Flour. Coconut flour. Protein powder. Um, this is all dry ingredients first. Oats. Uh, walnuts. Um, sweetener, like Splenda. And by here. A uh, little bit of salt. Um, a decent amount of cinnamon. A little bit of baking powder. And I think that's all the uh, dry ingredients right there. Uh, for the wet ingredients to start mixing it, you'll need um, eggs or egg whites or egg beaters. I like to use the egg beaters because it's pure protein, takes out the fat from the uh, original eggs. The eggs aren't bad, obviously, but I just prefer, you know, cutting down on fat. Um, and then a half a cup of milk. I use almond milk for it. One serving of non-fat Greek yogurt. Uh, 170 grams worth. <clears throat> And I think that's, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I hit everything. It's a lot, <laughs> but yeah, that's all that goes into my uh, my donuts. And if I'm feeling frisky, I'll put you know a few um, sugar-free uh, chocolate chips in there. Man, I can get a kill right there, but. I may not hit, and this may be a sacrifice. That's risky. That is super risky, and I cannot heal him. I have to retreat him. Do that that way, that's a dead bird. Team A. Yeah, we're good here. Oh man, I hate having, having to be so careful. Is what it is. Nice. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, I got a kill right there. There we go. There we go. What am I doing? Nope. Oh, uh, no, I bake on 350. Um, keep in mind, my oven is not the greatest at all. It takes a little bit longer um, to bake my food from what people recommend. But, to give you an idea, I bake on 350 at 20 minutes. I would try I would try it at 15 or 16 for yourself if your oven is okay. Um, no, it's, it's fine. We can talk about whatever, you know, as long as it's not controversial. <laughs> so, we're here to, you know, sit and chill and have fun, you know? Controversial. Sharing recipes. Come on now. <laughs> How dare you ask me for my recipes? I don't give that information out here. Fine. All to myself. So yeah, 350, 20 minutes for a crappy oven. So I'll do 350. Crap! I'll do 350 um, at 15 minutes and check it.
Oh, yeah. Um, before I bake it. So I'll, I'll put it in, you know, my donut tray that makes these things right here. Right. I have a, like a, it's like rubber. Um, you, you, they have these little divots right here that you can bake. Um, there's six of them. Right. So assuming you have that or anything else, like a muffin tray would work just fine. Um, I like to pour a tiny bit of syrup on, um, on the middle part of the ring. So if I, um, pull, if I pour the batter inside the divots, right. I put syrup as close to the center piece as I can. So it'll stay in the pocket, right? And then I'll bake it. The syrup infused on the top part right here is the real kicker. Um, use sugar syrup or use sugar-free syrup. I use sugar-free syrup because I cannot taste the difference and it's not sticky as hell. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm all about sugar-free syrup. It looked on, yeah. I didn't bother looking at the material, so. Would have to be involved for it to be uh, controversial. Can't say. Otherwise, this will be controversial conversation. <laughs> I don't know. Ambrosia from the gods? Seems like a controversial food that people would want. Yeah, you can't have this. This is mine. Are you out of breath? Nope, you're not. Forty-two. Oh man, I gotta be careful because I've had a couple uh, bad fights where I lost two leaders. I still won, obviously, but I I lost two leaders, so I gotta recover. Could have prevented damage there, but I want to level the leader. Finally, that protection spell wore off. Ugh. Retreat, you're done. All the way back here. Pals in range. Not be able to heal from attacking stone. Do I even need Charm Kyle? Oh man, I think I might have a kill here. Um, risky business for Gaspar, but... He could block. One HP for me! I know it's a Man of Miracle uh, rock, but he's freshly summoned. I don't know. I have a frost spell here. That's the safest bet. Why not just kill him, right? Yeah. If I put Gaspar in there. I have to worry about only the golem. And I can protect with the rock after the fact, assuming I hit this. I can. Bye. Woo! All right. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Last donut. <laughs> okay. That works out great. Hmm. I'd prefer to save it. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. 
Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Yes. Flee. Flee for your life. Oh, wait. It was a... Uh, it was a forced retreat. I caught his monsters. I caught two tier twos right there. <laughs> Son, let's go. Okay. I didn't know it was a force retreat. That's a kill right there. Kara, what are we doing? That's right. He's already uh, at person C5. We're good there. Oh, solid, man. This ending was great. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to level anyway, so might as well use magic. Level up, String Bean. There you go. We've had a lot of clutch fights in this, huh? <laughs> Been pretty, uh, pretty heavy on the clutches. Great. Woo! That's a V. Oh yeah. Man, that sucks. The force retreat. Wow. All right. Well, thank you for joining me for that time there. That was a really awesome battle. A little intense. We definitely have more intense, but this one was crucial, I would say. Knocking down those numbers, man. Do you get points for capturing monsters, by the way? I'm curious. Shinobi. Man. Whoa. Whoa. All allied monsters? Are you serious? This is a thing? What the hell, man? Full of surprises this game. Man, we got some recovery to do. <laughs> okay. 2,000 more. There we go. Next goal is 15,000, right? We'll definitely get there. But I'm about 30k, man. That's a uh, that's something I have to like hyper focus right there, and that's not going to be on this uh on this port. <laughs> it's 100% going to be on the PC version for sure. I just can't handle this FPS anymore. Now, granted, keep in mind my game capture software is stunting hardcore. You can run 60 FPS. Um. Sort of. But, um, yeah, Switch is definitely inferior. Nacia, Luxor of Mana. Nice. Influence? Influence. I know what that is. What is that? Enlightenment scroll! <laughs> Thank God. We're definitely going to find someone to use that for sure this round. Alright, fam. I have got to save. I've got to save. That was a long time. Alright. Not even an hour in yet. But that was a long fight. Okay. Breakfast. Down the hatch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready for the day. A cup of coffee goes great with those, by the way. But I usually have my, co my uh, coffee first thing in the morning and then make breakfast afterwards. I just I couldn't make a second one. I was a little pressed for time today, though. Bard and Enchantress. Um, we need to unlock Sorceress first. Yep. There we go. 
This was just great. Yes. For hard serious gaming. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it was the first port that, you know, released it. So here we are. <clears throat> okay. But I am enjoying my time on the PC version a lot, actually. I've been playing it every day. It's not just because I'm trying to rush to get to the creative mode. I'm actually having fun um, because of the improvements, the 60 FPS, the, um, the quality of life improvements, which some people are um, complaining about the HP bars, which I totally understand. I would probably honestly put um, take them off as well to make more room to see. Um, but I think it's a bug, though, because it's, it's toggleable. But it doesn't remove the entire bar. It just removes the uh, ABC. Weird. Very, very strange. Hopefully there's a fix for that in the near future. Oop. 40 down here to play with. Let's see. Wait, hold out. Coffee goes great with most things. Yeah, I know. Even ice cream. In fact, um, I like to. So uh, I get this cold brew from um, a uh, a shop called Lee's Town. Lee's Town Cold Brew. Um, it's close to where my, uh, my one of my best friends lives. Um, so he gets me a um, a bottle, um, and then a, or or. A, is it a gallon jug? I don't think it's a total gallon, but anyway, it's a it's a glass jar, a huge glass jar that's about a gallon, um, probably two liters, I would say. Um, and what you can do is take like the signature um, glass jar, and then when you finish, you can bring the glass jar to the shop, and they will refill it for cheaper, um, as if you were to buy it, you know, plain. So. I don't know how much it costs just to buy a bottle of it um, or a huge glass jar. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but only like 15 bucks to get it refilled all the way to full. If you bring back your original jar, it's pretty cool. So and it's really good cold brew too. Um, very strong. So definitely uh, take care there. But uh, I like to pour that over top of some ice cream. It is fantastic. That's an Italian dessert. Called Affogato. Yeah. Affogato. Look it up. A F F O G A T O. Yeah. Affogato. It's literally just coffee poured over top of vanilla ice cream or whatever ice cream you want. So, and tweak it however you want to. Did we actually get a good lizard? I didn't even see it. Yeah, we're good. Boom. Um, let's see. Trying to lose some weight myself and want to keep uh, some muscle. I'm looking for some quality food. Oh, no worries. So hit me up anytime, man. So if you want a really good resource on your downtime, um, if I'm not available, then look up... Um, this, this is where I got the inspiration to make this. I tweaked it to my own liking, but the basis of this recipe right here comes from Remington James on YouTube. So look up Remington James, and uh, he has a crazy amount of recipe videos that you can... Uh, Go and like pick your favorites and stuff and make them regular make them regularly so he's a uh, he's been a true help in uh maintaining my uh physique so, so i know what i'm doing in the gym i know what my routine uh i know how my routine works and uh know that it does work but if my food isn't right you can't out train a bad diet so yeah He's got a bunch, man. Um, not a big fan of coffee. Coffee flavored stuff I'm okay with, just not real coffee. Right. I'm not sure if you would like that then. Um, like, since you like coffee flavored things, you could consider the ice cream to be coffee flavored, but you can just buy coffee flavored ice cream anyways. So, like mocha chip and stuff like that is really good. But, um, yeah, just a little, uh, Side note there. We have a class up here on Sid. Oh, yes. 
Hell yes. We are ready for Sword Master. Let's go. That's a big help. Okay. On PC right now, I'm currently running Shinobi Tribe. Trying to uh, blitz through the campaign. Okay, we've got to go back and protect that. They took it with one knight. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you never see that anymore. So, this is also open. Oh god, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh man. Okay. Kate, I need you to go somewhere. I don't know where that is. Probably... No? That can be defended for one turn. If they don't make a move here, increases combat power, I might commit with two knights. I don't know. This is bad, though. I need to defend this primarily. I may need to abandon ship on some uh, teams here. We have a full team here that can defend somewhere, so I think this team is going to be going to Garwellen. I can't have this being taken. That's a crucial castle right there. Um, we have a free team here as well. Thank goodness. Um, let's see. Pass up twice. Demon to Arc Demon. Right. This is where the playthrough starts slowing down for sure. We need to unlock that first. I'll go ahead and up this. Bounce back. Boom. Some nice uh, espresso infused honey. Uh, goes well with coffee, ice cream. Hell yeah. Alright. Espresso infused honey. Really? Espresso infused honey. You gotta DM me what you're using. I gotta know what that is. That sounds delicious. Espresso infused honey. You have piqued my interest, sir. Your boy up. Don't leave me in the dark, please. Um... I gotta work on these teams a lot. We're gonna be here for a while, fam, on this organization phase. This is a lot. So, a lot of recovery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Go. Whoop. Another quality of life improvement they put on the PC version is. Um, well, hang on. Let me let me check it first. Uh, do this. But if I go to units, okay, it does show it. So you can do summon monster from this menu. Okay, never mind. So anyway, I never saw that before because you can just bounce back and forth from. Uh, not that. Not that. It's the start button, right? Yeah, start button will go back and forth between troop screen and summon screen, which is amazing. I never used it. Why didn't everybody ever tell me? <laughs> that I was like, Valkos is right there in front of you. What the hell? So. Rip. Okay, this team needs to go somewhere. I cannot have one knight taking, of, taking over all of Gustava. We're going to go there for a turn. We don't necessarily need to move all three knights. Um, honestly, we've got three knights to to move. So let's, yeah, let's nix this. Kate is going to defend one of those castles up top. Right here. And you came to get monsters, did you not? Yes. Right. Go. Toby. Go here. No, I need a team of three to go here, actually. So that's where they're going to go. Okay. 
I'll switch Toby out for Kate actually, because he's got the better uh, combat power there. Um, actually, I don't think I will, because Kate has heals, right? Yeah, she's got a healer on her team, so. Or just move both. <laughs> right? Keep them together. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll move them both. Move them both. Okay. Um, that's covered from there. This is covered from there. This is still uncovered. So, we've got some more to do there if possible. But, this is also uncovered. So. I'm trying to like blitz a ton, I know, but uh, we'll eventually catch them, it's just, yeah, yeah, we have to get a choke point back, namely this one right here. I still need to make momentum, the Minas Elysia is almost gone. I was thinking about putting Toby and Kate here, but that makes uh, Bell Farm open. Okay. All right. Let's fill out this team a little bit more. Okay, Dragon Golem and Centaur. Maya, what's up? How you doing? Uh, from cleaning your heels after you uh, crush your enemies with them. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Um, it would be a bit pricey to get, though. It's from Australia. Oh, boy. So I'm still curious, but tipping would cost almost more than the honey itself costs. Yeah. But a streamer I watch is the owner's son and has a channel point redemption for free honey. So I get it for free. What the? F okay. You, you got to put your boy on game for sure. You gotta put your boy on game, because that sounds amazing. Just basic channel point redemption. You watch the stream for a certain amount of time, you accrue points, and then you redeem it for free honey. It sounds insane. How many points? It's gotta be stupid high, right? So, like 100k or way more. Okay, dragon for sure. I'll do a couple actually. Yep. Good. Top one. Nope. Plus five strength. I'll take that. That one's going to go here. I'm going to flip that to there to cap it. Nice. And we make room for one more. Yeah, just like that. Duh. Barely enough room for one more. So, um, at least those in standby. Release those in standby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ugh. The company is called Short Hive. Okay. For 350k channel points. Got you. I'd say it's worth it, right? They use powdered ingredients to do the infusions. On their own honey, so like normal honey, it doesn't go bad. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So is the Twitch channel just called Short Hive? What do they stream anyway? Just like how to make it? Seventeen HP is a lot. Strengthen it going down. I'll take this one. Okay, that's a lot of wagons, man. Filled out nicely, though. Like it. Sorry, that bugs me. 
<laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay, team of three going there. We need to make sure Toby is going to uh, all farm. Eight. Garwon is defended. This is going to get taken this turn, which is not good at all. Honestly. We can't lose that. Toby's going to defend Solo Dolo. Kate is going to go over here with that team of three. We have to fill this out more. I can afford to lose this because I can bounce back to here for a choke point. I cannot afford to lose that because I got to defend all that crap. Assuming I don't take it back next turn, so... Oh man, this is rough. Okay. We have plenty of the map, obviously, but... Damn. Alright, what's going on here? Yeah, we had a stupid kill right here because of my stupidity. But, we at least get this. What do we get? Um, Did these change in any significant way? Moderate damage. Uh, 25% chance. Never misses. Is this a ranged attack? A fairy prank? What are we getting here that's new? Geno Thunder. Yes. Geno Thunder. Let's go. It's good to see that again. Um, you have an order on the way there now. Awesome. Uh, the streamer doesn't actually work for them. He streams games and stuff. He's just the son of the owners. Got you, got you. Okay, okay. Since he's in Australia, it gives me something to watch in the dead of night at work, right? Makes sense. So, yeah. I used to be that guy. <laughs> Stream way late into the night. So, some good times there. It's, uh, it's 20 for a Lilith, isn't it? Ugh, I can't get that right now. Wait. We had some items that came into being. Hmm. That's worth a Lilith. Yeah. I'll definitely do that, actually. So. Luxor of Mana on Elena. Now we can get it. Sweet. That's worth a Lilith. Oh, yeah. Actually, is that Mooney? Did she actually make Lilith? That's Mooney. Congrats. All right. Oh, I hate this right here, dude. <laughs> I'm so sore about that. I'm very salty. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm just being, you know, relative about it, right? So, this sucks right here. Really bad. Depending on what the combat power looks like here, I may commit to an attack with just two, but I don't want to leave Tommy behind. That's not taken care of. This is solo solo Toby right here. <laughs> That's fun. Number three there. So I think we've successfully uh, defended all castles that don't um, require us to defend multiple adjacent ones if they take one. They're taking this one right here, which is a choke point. Well, further choke point, should I say. This is the actual choke point. So, we can afford to lose this. We're probably going to lose this. But, that's not so bad. I don't have the... I don't have the manpower to back this either. Unless I just split people up into twos. I gotta review who's here to see who stays and who goes. Because if they completely rearrange their army, then I don't have to worry about this getting taken. But right now, I think that this is the best scenario. Best I can do, anyways. 
the rough spot. Okay, we gotta fill this troop out, and then I think we're good to go. All right, Azarov, we get a class up in the monk department. Yes, still that agility is so bad. <laughs> I can't get that up, man. It's just so bad. The dude needs a freaking Pegasus. <laughs> right, so if he got injured. This is another loss right here. Um, actually, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Someone answer. Uh, if they take this castle... And I don't put these in stock. If I put them in stock, they'll get them. But if I don't put them in stock, I don't recall if these monsters go with the Wounded Knight. Like, back to the nearest castle, which would be here, I think. I don't know where she goes. But they should stay attached to her if they push her out of here. Am I correct on that? I need to know that before I commit to this because I'm not losing those tier 3s. Or those, uh, those tier twos. I can rearrange a little bit, but I can't put all of them on, uh, the other side here, so. Yeah, I need to know that 100%. Um, time of year. He starts his streams between midnight and 2 a.m. Good lord. Definitely not owl there. Uh, 4 p.m. For, oh, 4 p.m. for him. Right, right. Australia. I'm dumb. Uh, not 100% positive, but I think they go with the Wounded Knight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do too. I might be safe scumming this, to be honest. But, I can't really do that. Because, like, I'll be going through so many battles before that happens. So... Knight's monsters wouldn't stay with their knight. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure they, they stick with them. I just wish I, I had a definitive answer. Right. However, those are three monsters I do not want the Shinobi tribe of all people having. Especially a mana miracle um, man-eater. Not a good look. We're gonna flip this, though. Yeah. Yikers, man. Yeah, because I have to abandon this to account for other things. This is a rough turn. This is the roughest turn for sure, man. Okay. I still need to manage some items, though. Let me do that real quick and then save. Influence. Uh... Command range, right. I keep on forgetting the name of this one right here. That's huge. I need to use this this turn on somebody that has three. Um, this right here, I need to use this turn as well. <gasps> I forgot I got this. I need to use this this round as well. I can free up a wounded knight. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And I mean, <laughs> that saves me so much trouble, actually. Um, it's got to be Tommy, right? Yeah, it has to be Tommy. Yes, we're healing Tommy with the Panacea. So, Onside Silver, welcome in. How are we today? Good to see you. Yeah, we have to heal Tommy. Because that makes the most sense, right? Yeah. Because Sophie's going to bounce off that castle. And I need Tommy to keep making progress. Momentum. Yep, yeah, it's Tommy. Thank you, Panacea. Oh my god. Panacea. I pronounced it wrong. Sorry. Wow. That is so good. Oh man. Someone's gotta come over here and get these things. But, uh... That's really good. Okay. Back to managing items. Ooh, okay. Influence. That also may be going to Tommy, right? Is he... Yeah, he's command range 3. Um, although he does move around a lot. 
I can keep on putting them back in his rune area. Uh, he's a good um, candidate for that, so let me check others. We're good here. All right, 5, 5, and 4. This team is overpowered as shit. Um, two threes right here. Gaspar would also be a good candidate for it. Oh. Goodish, I guess. How's it going? It's going good, man. It's going good. So, hopefully the day treats you well. It is a Monday, so, you know, tread carefully. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. All right. Let's see. Once I save, I'm going to take a small break, stretch, get some water, and then we'll resume. But Kate is not three, right? No, she's four. Any threes here? Run Hazarov. Um, I don't know. I think it's just going to be Tommy, to be honest. Three on uh, Leanne. Who exploded? Tommy did. <laughs> uh, a guy on one of my um, main teams. This is the second main team that I have right now. So he died on a previous fight because I was stupid. I made a misclick. Yeah, misclicks are no bueno, man, and it cost me his life. So, but I had to heal him up with a panacea because this is a very hard round to recover from. We have a lot of territory that could be taken for free here if we're not careful. on Gilliam as well. There's so many people that have threes on command range. I hate it. Toby's definitely a four, right, though? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's Tommy. It's Tommy. Tommy's getting all the freaking uh, consumables today, apparently. So. Alright. Um, influence. Yes. There you go, bud. Nice. Okay. Enlightenment scroll. I don't know just yet. It's not this team. I don't know who needs it really badly. She's at one, so she's two levels ahead. That could help get to um, Witch a lot sooner. Well, not Witch, I mean um, Saint. Yeah. That would be able to get Divine Ray, Area Heal. Well, we have Area Heal, but, you know, more toys. Um. So Modesta is a nice candidate there. Sid has not been cross-classed, so I'm good there. Um, let's see. A Dew. We have one more to do here for Berserker. I think he's probably the best one to get that. Yeah. I almost want to do it just like right now. Because, but if we get Berserker here... Um, we can go straight to Viking. Um, or no, we want to go to Dark Knight first. Master that, get the spells, then bounce back to Viking. Right? Yes. Yes, we want to do it like that. That way we have the Worldly Trolley attack, you know, the spin to win. So. DJ Anime, what's up, girl? Good to see you. How's your day going? So. What's up, what's up? We're streaming today. Are you streaming today? I think you're, you're streaming like every single night, aren't you? So, you're, you've been hammering it out. Uh, Miss clicks are so easy to have happen, I know. I was honestly surprised how bad some of the UX uh, decisions were. Yeah, I know. So, the standby is the, is the worst one for sure. So, it needs to have a confirmation. But, um, yeah. Other than that, though, not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use it here. He needs it more than anybody. Boom. Okay. Now we have Berserker Mastered. We can class up to Viking. Go ahead and unlock that. And then bounce to uh, Dark Knight. Right? Yep. This dude is going to be a Chad man. He's ready. He's ready. Okay. Um... That's all the consumables. Now we need to do gear. If we have any. Do so ice axe. Um Yep. Back that one lizard there. Wisdom hat. HP and intelligence. 
Uh, yeah. Lava Seal. Um, two red on both sides. Um, it's decent for that dude. Also, really good for the Phoenix, actually. Yeah, let's go Phoenix. Let's go Phoenix. There you go. Alright, that'll work. Okay, please save the game. It's been a hot minute. Man, oh man, that's a lot of organizing, my guys and, gal and gals. <laughs> that is a lot. All right. 30 minutes of uh four days a week got gotcha, you got gotcha, you got gotcha. you um what are you streaming tonight 15 are you bouncing between games right now or are you just doing one game uh expert the more you misclick yep 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 confidence is slow and was killer yes i know i know do never try to you know manage your cockiness it's definitely um you know prevalent Uh, she streams um, right now. Uh, well, she streams a lot of JRPGs in general. So she's a big Persona fan. She's a big Final Fantasy fan. Um, Trails of Cold Steel. Um, or Legend of a Hero series, should I say. Um, I'm missing a whole bunch. But yeah, big JRPG streamer over there. So she has a really cool um, uh, collection inside her home of like games and figures and... Uh, posters and stuff like that. If you ask her and head over to her Twitch channel, uh, then uh, I'm sure she will show you a bunch of collectibles. So, pretty cool stuff. You can see stuff in her background as well. But, yeah. Um, isn't your Twitch name different though? Uh, DJ Anime something else, right? What's your Twitch name officially, DJ? Got you, got you. Yeah. So. I think we're complete on all teams. Just double checking everything because we're about to commit. Okay. Toby's headed for solo dolo defense. <laughs> that should be fun. And he has no heals, but he is evasive as crap. Um, yeah, he should do okay. But who's it going to be up against, though? Alejandro. Huh. We can't class these up. He'd be, decent, he'd be decent, decent uh, fight contender there because he's uh, got draw trick. I don't know. We'll see if he commits to that. Or. No, no, it needs to be Toby. It needs to be Toby. No. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, commit. I'm done being here. <sighs> I know. Oh, it's the same. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. So. Uh, I don't know what time she starts, but it's it's in the evening sometime. So. Rudo, Yura, and Tomas. That looks scary. Luckily, we have our main team here. Okay. All right, Sin is wounded. They did not. Wait, did they move? I think that these did not move, but a lot of level ones. Wow. Okay, we're good there. Alejandro moved, so we don't have to worry about this getting taken this turn. They definitely moved from here. I think that they moved completely. Yes, so this is not getting taken either. The only one that might get taken for free is this one, I think. We're going here for sure. Bam, I think we lucked out on not getting free ta free castles taken. Maybe one, but not the two that I was really worried about. That one right there, and then this one. I think we're okay. Wait, what? I thought I moved them. I can reload. I thought I moved them. I could have sworn I moved them somewhere.
Yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern. There you go. 2 a.m. You'll probably be awake. <laughs> there you go. So It's been a hot minute since I've been awake at 2 a.m. Even 1 a.m., to be honest. Sometimes I push midnight nowadays, but your boy gets to bed pretty early nowadays. I was up at 6 this morning, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened, because uh, I went to bed like at midnight. Um, but apparently I got enough sleep. I don't know. Yep, yeah, I thought I moved these. Did I fill the, out the ranks? Yeah? Okay. Well, we don't even have to worry at all then. I moved these here. I'm getting attacked from this. Hang on. Okay, all right. <sighs> Seeing things. <laughs> okay, safe. Uh, let's see. Oh, you live in Italy. Paisano. <laughs> I am uh, half Italian. My mother's side is full Italian. So... Yeah, man. She gets on my ass for um, mispronouncing pasta names all the time. So. But I have done well uh, throughout my, the course of my life. So uh, I can't even go past 10 p.m. most of the time. Oh, really? You're an early bird then, for sure. So What time do you get up in the morning? Like 4? <laughs> so, was awake before 6 a.m. today? Goodness gracious, man. Crazy. Maybe I'm heading that in that direction. I don't know. So... With the save scum? Yeah, I had to. So, <laughs> what's up, Jameson? So, I had to. I, I thought I moved them somewhere, but apparently not. It's a full team <laughs> to move somewhere. So, I think people can understand that one. <laughs> Alright, Mitch. Hopefully this um is the same scenario. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Except now we're covering our asses like we should be right there. Okay. Right. Okay, before we begin another fight, I have got to stretch and get some water. That is a uh, priority at the moment. That castle's getting taken this round. No, it's not because they moved here. That's right. We lucked out there. Let me up everything though. So, one there. One there. I think that's all I can do, to be honest. Yeah, everybody else moved. Guinea's over in freaking Shinobi Tribe. Weird. Wouldn't he just cut down on the trees? You'd think they wouldn't want him there. Okay, yeah. We're ready to go. Woo! That's tough, man. Oh, that's a tough organized phase. Sorry for the lengthy one there. Okay. I'm going to stretch. Get my uh, water. Maybe another glass of soda because I'm feeling it. And uh, I shall be right back. So stay tuned.
All right, we back. <sighs> Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yep, just two attacks. Let's commit. Oh, what a phase. All right, we hanging in there, fam? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Second half, here we go. We'll be going to uh, 1 p.m. today, Eastern. So, we got about an hour and a half left. Plenty of time. Uh, let's see. I always forget to switch their classes or class up monsters. Uh, especially if I did like three or four battles previous phase. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes I forget as well. Um, usually it's whenever, you know, you don't have the notification that says class up and you know that you had a proficiency upgrade though. Or mastery, should I say. We tend to for I tend to forget about that too. So. Um, just woke up and nominated myself in a message. Wait, what? You did. What the hell did you do that for? <laughs> hey, myself. I'm not. I'm too much of a corporate uh, slave to be streaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, um, let's see. Um, I don't know how to put it bluntly, but I hate watching other Italian stream. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why is that? I stopped watching Italian stuff around seven years ago. Really? How come? Billy Badass, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome back. It's like the feeling um, half Italians are fine, but motherland Italians, I don't know, it feels strange. I know how Italians work and I resonate a bit too well on how they react. Okay. So, granted, I definitely don't know uh, your experiences. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rudo's here. Yay! One, two, three. But Tim is also here. And we have Dimension. That's right, we Dimension Rudo last time. I might do the same. I might magic down his ass and Dimension him somewhere into the mountains. Wouldn't it be amazing if I could put him up here? Is it possible? I would love that. The high mountains from the OG days, man. These things right here would shut any unit down for real for real but i don't think it's possible yeah because i don't see hex is branching off into here so even though you can mouse over that italian irish and german oh my goodness quite the mixture there bro one two three four sometimes it's like watching my cousin do a stream and it feels weird okay you do you, man. So, by all means. So, everybody has their preferences, right? So, best to stick to that. One, well, in some cases, right? So, <laughs> depending on if it's for your health, right? You want to get out of your comfort zone if possible. But yeah, for entertainment purposes, yeah, I, I totally understand. Okay, <clears throat> the only forest tiles that I'm going to be able to make use of are these. These are a little too far away from the fight. I mean, they could surround this part, but going to the right seems more appealing anyways, at least for now. But I don't want to make them think I'm doing that moment. So, you can come out and shoot me. In fact, archers love coming out and shooting me. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll stay out of range for that for now. He probably most definitely could hit me, even though I'm uh, pretty agile. I guess I could cut down the arrow with the sword master class, possibly. 
What's the chance? Is it 50? Right? I think it's 50%, right? Uh, Grandma is German, Grandpa is Irish, uh, Papa is Italiano. Wow. It's a wonderful mix, man. I like it. I'm the weird one. All my friends think it's weird, but I don't know. I can't shake the feeling. I mean, if you can't shake it, then by all means, don't encourage it, I guess. <laughs> right? You don't want to do damage to your health if, it, if that's going to you know, cause some issues for you. Um, are they ballsy enough? The elemental might be. And the archer might be. I may be able to bait the archer two hexes if I'm here. Because one wouldn't be enough to shoot me with a regular attack. She needs three. That's good. Okay. That is not breath, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the hexes at a weird angle at the moment, so... Bear with me here. <clears throat> I wonder what's your mother language in all this? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm also curious. We baited her. She's right there. You better surround her. Oh. They need to work this. They need to work this, man. They need to stop making archers do this. It's too easy. Archers charge you like this and you can surround and pound. This is not good. Look at that. She's by herself. That takes away Team B, which is a Holy Dragon, a High Dog, a Pegasus, and a High Lizard Man. Possibly capture. That's stupid. I like this tune. Very oriental. <clears throat> uh, an Irish from my grandparents. We all speak English except my grandpa. He knows German from serving uh, World War II. Tell your grandfather thank you for his service if he is currently still around. So, uh, For America, I should uh, clarify. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, Yura, what are you doing? Can't evade that one. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> I'd still run past my front line. Yes, to engage the team I hadn't pushed yet uh, alone, leaving everyone else behind. I know. Stella is suicidal. So is Tim. Really, all the melee units think they have like balls of steel. But um, anyway, and now it's archers. You know, if they have a chance to hit your leader or really any any unit whatsoever that's close enough, they'll they'll go out there and hit. Okay. Well, nice knowing you. We've got a fire orb over here, Cheesy. Let's go. It would be nice to put a dark breath in line of something. It could be there. That's thunder. 
It's not going to be a ton of damage, but I'd rather not take it unnecessarily. So, yeah, we'll remain here. That. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, Tim, no! <sighs> it's fine. We got uh, other options, but that's okay. All right, B team's down. There you go. I thought he would definitely have more percentage than that, even though she was in the forest. All right, looking good. Yep. Waste it. It's fine. Waste it. Let's go. <gasps> oh, no! I can't believe he came out and bonked Mr. Bones. No! I don't have revival stones either. Ah, oh, Not anymore! <laughs> Bruno, you asshole. Oh my god. How am I supposed to know if he's going to come off the damn castle or not? We worked so hard on him, man. Don't worry. As soon as I get a stone, he's coming back. But I don't have one right now. I'm, I can't even quest at the moment. I've got to get some more choke points before I start questing for that stuff. Oh. No! It is the end. We have to reset. So, no save scum either. If Mr. Bones die, that's the end of the run. Oh man. That's really unfortunate. Pretty sad, actually. Rudo. What the hell, man? This idiot's just gonna go back on his castle, too. Like, God, you suck! I need to kill angels. Damn it. One, two. I wonder if he'll stay off, though. We'll see. This is a great spot here. I know. What's up, Ren? <laughs> I the nation's leader is now dead. Mr. Bones, rip. Man. Bruto is super scary, dude. Knew this going in, obviously, but I, I just don't know when. He's going to come off the castle. He's come off the castle to hit Tim before. So I made sure I protected Tim. But I've never seen him come off the castle to bonk a monster. Like. And that was the worst one to pick, too. It's a rip-rip. <laughs> it's a rip-rip. What's up, Jake? So. Uh... Yes, I brought a Lich to a Paladin fight. So, sue me. He's fought against Rudo several times. Well, not attacked him, but he's been in the fight with Rudo a few times. And never has he come off the castle to do that. What is this, man? <laughs> that ain't right. I'd have to kill Tomas, but <laughs> charm that uh 
Revenant, level him up a couple times, and then there's a new Mr. Bones. <laughs> no, we work too hard on that thing. We have to revive him at some point. If I move Sid here, though, I don't think Rudo can go back. No, he can get back. He can get back. Fifty-three percent. It's not bad. I can breath with the serpent. It would go through the phoenix, but whatever. Can I have your insight on what I asked just above Mr. Bone's uh, sad fate? Oh, sorry. Did I miss it? Um, hang on. I missed a bunch of chat. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, but I tell him uh, every time I visit him. Got you. Got you. So, much love, man. So, I also hate it when the challenge mode characters just rush me down. Like, dude, I'll destroy you in one turn. Right, I know. Never understood, and this is going to be controversial for all Americans, uh, but why you always go, thank you for your service. Um, I mean, it's a job, they get paid for it, so isn't it the check, the thank you part? It's not about, um, so, they they may not, be, be, because it's being, it's said so much, is probably one of the reasons why you're asking that question, is why do we say that? Um, but, the reason that you say that, uh, because it's their job. But, you can thank literally anybody for their service, no matter what job they're doing. But we especially say that to um, military because their job is to protect us. <laughs> Why would you not thank somebody for that, right? So, um, and the, cur the the common courtesy is to uh, say you you are welcome, right? So um, they may get tired of hearing it, but. I don't actually care. <laughs> I'm still going to say thank you because I'm here because of them, right? So, yeah. It's not about, like, considering that, oh, it's just their job. You don't need to thank us for this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You absolutely do. So. <clears throat> My grandfather, which, um, uh, which, who served in World War II, um, Never got to meet my father. He he died um, of a brain aneurysm um, when my father was two years old. So, um, but my father, you know, honors him every time you know uh, Veterans Day comes along or you know uh, Memorial Day or whatever Father's Day, right? So he changes a profile picture and does you know some Facebook posts and things like that. Um, and he also you know uh, goes out and plays uh, taps on his trumpet. As well, um, but yeah. So, um, maybe he saw Mr. Bones as a big enough threat. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know why. There's no way I could contend with him with Mr. Bones. There's no way. So, I don't even know if I'll be able to hit him. So, um, I'll continue here in a second. I'm I'm still catching up here. Um. Super political load of question. Might not want to talk about it uh, on stream. Yeah, I'm not going to delve deep into it, but, you know, he wanted an opinion, which is fine. Um, but uh, it's not controversial either, I don't think. Um, not in my opinion, anyways. It's it's a fine question to ask. Um, but if you keep pushing the envelope, then yes, I'm going to silence you. <laughs> not in a mean way, but uh, just making sure that we're not, you know, going too far off topic in, you know, serious conversation. We're not here to do that, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's okay on side. No, no worries. So, um, I know that your intentions weren't bad or anything like that. It's, it's perfectly fine. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just a very big part of the culture. I mean, like it needs to be, you know, um, gratitude needs to be, uh, in my opinion, you know, um, portrayed everywhere for people of service. You know, it just makes the most sense because otherwise you don't exist so <laughs> which is unfortunate right that we need to have that but that's the way of the world so they are done with uh, their service they are pretty much thrown away and the government really doesn't care or or help the majority of homeless or vets yes that's also very unfortunate um so support them in any way that you possibly can um because of what they've done 
so. Other jobs require you to leave your home city of family and friends for four plus years, during which time military folks face challenges that no other profession in the world must endure, right? Um, and it's more like, uh, you know what you signed for, but they uh, get pensions pretty much after 10 years of often doing nothing. Got you. Got you. All right. Anyways, so you guys can still chat. That's perfectly fine. I need to focus here, so I'll jump in at some point. But uh, <sighs> this dude... That is definitely what's preventing me from committing to this, is defense up. That is some... That is some bullshit. This is really good. I can almost beat him in a single attack with Sid. Very close, neck and neck. Plus he has way less accuracy against me. He's got Divine Ray on him as, as well. Hang on. Honestly, I think I got him. Even with protection. I think I got him. I can't get him with a curse with Tim. But I may have this. Hang on. I'm gonna commit here. Nice. Nice. Breath. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you're civil, all power to you guys, you know, I don't, if, as long as there's no arguing or debating on political issues in the chat, then I'm, I'm fine, right? But, uh, as soon as there starts getting, like, heated arguments and shit, that, that doesn't fly here, so. Oh, thanks. Speaking of flying. Um. Echo Rebirth, I keep forgetting what he gets, so. Seventy percent. I really wish I could put weak uh, magic down on him first. Yeah. He's got a double heal coming up. I think I have it. I think I have it. Yes, I 100% have it. GG, Rudo. GG. Holy crap. <sighs> Thanks for tanking, Cheesy. Yep. That's it. Okay, get some experience with the Phoenix and we're out. Wow. That's really good. Oh, almost a kill there. Beat off, slow motion, good. V. Cheers to that, hell yes. <clears throat> yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Favorite monster? And everyone? Yeah, favorite monster. Go. Um, in this version in particular... Man. I'm probably going to say Fenrir. Yeah. I'll probably say Fenrir. I really like the Mandrakes, but I also hate the Mandrakes because it's hard to approach. But, like... Um, yeah, I think Fenrir would uh, take the cake for me on that one. So. I just love the hit and away concept because if you stack dogs on one troop, say goodbye to single units because, man, just boop, 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 boop. You know, take the, take the pack to one single unit and you're fine. And you put it with a leader that can do hit and away as well, like an assassin, right? Or a treasure hunter, for example. Mr. Bones. No! Man. That really hurts. Okay. We'll get him back. I just have to start questing, like, very soon. Alright, let's get some more done here. Mandrake family, for sure. There you go. Uh, made a meme for y'all and put it in on the Discord. A meme? What you got going, man? What you got going? Is it in the uh, the general channel in Brigandine? Greens? I'm not sure where that is. Where'd you put it? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Uh, I need this to be the others. No, I'll just I'll just put it there. That's fine. Mr. Bones, Rudo, call the ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> oh Jesus, you son of a bitch, man. That's unfortunate. So. I appreciate that. So, I like it. All oh, the memories of Mr. Bones, man. Don't worry, he he will not he will never be a memory. Okay. And with the Mandrakes too. Mandrakes are so good in this game. Just an archer with doggos, yes, also very powerful. Or archers with ice centaurs as as a lot of us like to do. You don't have a favorite monster yet. I haven't played enough, but man, are the elementals silly strong. They are, especially in, in numbers. My goodness. Um, you revival stone of Mr. Bones? I'm, tr I'm trying, man. I have to quest. So, I haven't been able to quest for a hot minute because I've having to defend bases. And I only get 20 knights cap, so it's become a little tough all right here we go battle three right Is that where we're at miss mooney over here looking nice with lilith status brand new lilith status two three four Yes, he's just resting. Don't worry. It's probably not going to be today, but it will be later this week when we finally get him back. I would say. We'll see. Yep, you're definitely going here.
One, two, three, four. Right, you can go on mountain. One, two, three, four. Yes, I know unlimited Geno Thunder. So the MP regenerate isn't gonna like compensate that much, obviously, right now, but we're we're getting there. He's now tier three, so. If only Necro Rebirth was permanent for undead units, I know. I know. It's quite the shame. Alright, we're in range already. I'm doing some uh Octra snipes here. Don't get in range of breath and we're good. Who do we hit first? Could do weakness. Or we could do uh get rid of the faint potential. Which also which always sucks. As far away from healers as possible, to be honest, so which would be here. So Man, it's powerful. I don't think I want to move though. Yeah, because if I can do pre-moves from here, that'd be great. Stay on a forest tile. Works. Yeah. It's good. Can Lilith still do uh wait. Lilith could charm, right, with melee attack in the OG. Can they do that now? No. Wait. It's right here. That's a pre-move, isn't it? Hmm. I don't ever I don't think I've ever seen that actually, the animation to it. It just doesn't come up because it's a pre-move. Uh wait, is it pre-move? Yeah, it's pre-move. It's got the it's got the crossed out feet there, so. Huh. That's thunder. Yeah, no matter how I look at it, it's thunder. <laughs> it's fine. One, two, three, four. I may put magic down on her. Hmm. I could position a really nasty Meteor Doom. Hang on. They're not going to come forward, so... I'll try to position it regardless, but it's not going to be this coming around. Yep, yeah, go here. It's fine. Legends never die. There you go. Mr. Bones dying uh, hits me hard. I know. I know. I'm so sorry, man. I really tried to keep him around, but I didn't expect Ruto to come off the damn castle. So. But at least he died with honor, right? So he got a kill on a leader, by the way. And then he got hit with the most powerful attack in the damn game. So, I guess that's, if you're going to go out, that's the way to do it, right? No. I don't really care about draw tricking there. Just be on the road for later. Okay. Plays of Glory, I know. Uh, yes, they do have area heal on her. So. I 
honestly. It might be the time to do it. Area heal, of course, will reach this way. You know, I know you're concerned, obviously. But we have options here, so hang on. If I move the lizard, then I can get this right here, which is stupid. Okay. Magic down was the thing I was going to do right here, which will do more damage to her. Mr. Bones, Jesus Bones, what the hell? Angels get uh, area heal, demons get me near doom. Right, right, right. The the Seraphs is what you're talking about, the tier 3. But yeah, they have one area healer right here. So, maybe two, because Amelia's got some good MP there. On Thursday, I'm going to laugh hard. You know that three-day waiting period? Yeah, I know. But I'll have to just quest a whole bunch until I get Revival Stone. I may not get one. So. Alright, I gotta move you. I can get her. I just probably need to use my archer for it. If that's the case, I'll have to get pretty close to the front line, which is not that jarring, to be honest. So, Okay, let's pop the magic down now. Oh, she's in the castle. Didn't know that. <clears throat> yeah, it has to be her because she's in line of breath attack too, so... I haven't used this in a hot minute, fam. This has been some time. That one I know looks better, but it's going to hit my serpent. What is that? It, so this gets an angel in there. This gets everything but the angel. My serpent takes what damage? It's not bad, and I have heals. I think that this is the one I need to do right here. Double, you have a good rest, man. Thanks for stopping in, chatting for a while. Sleep well, man. Yep, we're going here. Woo! I haven't used that in a very long time. That's right, she has moving away as well. Mooney, you champion. Right. Well, um... I don't need to move it away at the moment. I'm okay there, but... Wow. Okay. That was something. Yep, gotta do it. So, Mr. Bones will come back to Rapture Rudo on the final castle. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, I can do draw trick as well. Team A is leaving, so I can be here safely. Even though I'm in f I'm staring a freaking sea serpent in the face. <laughs> Kill it though. Uh, 137. Do I need it though? Pig's team is next, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't do any damage to her. Only Tommy can do damage to her. Yep, I have to do this. Thank goodness for that moving away. I could have still done it, but... Yeah. Yep, I, do, I would have had to go all the way over here, but I can be here with that. Just don't plug this spot and we can kill her. So. Alright, I gotta get rid of that. Uh, I just want to see... The hexes. Oh, man. Some OG days right there, baby. All right. 193. They really upped the cost and everything, didn't they? All right. Here we go. Big damage, big damage.
I always dress drop meter dooms on my front line. I'm doing a lot more damage than I'm than I'm taking. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So I've done that several times too, just to have it done. But uh, yeah, I get you. What? I can take a divine ray. Fine. Here we go. Oh, buddy, you messed with the wrong country. Go. Boom. Nice. Three, four. I can reach magic down from there if I want to. All right, this is a blowout. That meteor doom man. Hell yeah. Oh, she didn't area heal. She took the castle. Okay. He's not going to get a chance to do it this round. There's no way. We're going to just mince through all of this crap. You need two more for a sniper. The breath here. Really? Yeah, that may be suicide. <laughs> yeah, that may be suicide. <clears throat> hmm? Phoenix re regen covers what? Covers what? What do you mean? Meters with teams that I have area heal. Uh, you just devastate everything and still keep full life, right? A bit annoying to micromanage positions with uh, phoenixes. I prefer area heal because you just throw it and doesn't affect enemies. Right. Which explains why the phoenix heal is so powerful, right? Because it'll heal enemies. But if your positioning is correct, it can be crucial to survive the fight. So, depends on the fight heavily. I just got really happy all of a sudden. <laughs> oh man. Really cool uh, composition there. Get out of here. Might be my new favorite, much better than I expected. Oh yeah, Phoenix is amazing. Because the heals scale off of the strength uh, stat.
Um, the old V formation with the Phoenix in the middle. Or a song before this one. Um, I've got it on shuffle, so I don't know if it'll go back to the previous. This one right here. This is the one. Uh, but I have been grinding in the one skull quest with the Royal Guard. And the grind the grand waves have been hitting the paralysis flight number percent of the time, both for the AI and for my own guards. In the PC version, are you playing PC? Because well, I'll let you answer that. But there's a coincidence there, because you said that. This was the one, I think. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Um, this one is, um, I think this is a League of Legends champion theme, uh, Swain, the Noxian Grand General. Yeah, from League of Legends season what, whatever it says, I can't read the rest. Um, but yeah, this, by the way, comes from Riot Games Creator Safe Playlist. Um, but yeah, I guess Swain is a, a champion in League of Legends, the Noxian Grand General. So... So that's the name of the song there. Pretty cool. On PC? Yeah, I was playing PC earlier to this morning, and um, every single time I used Grain Wave, it paralyzed both units. And they were both leaders, too. <laughs> so, I use it twice. Carla and the uh, AI Royal Guard have been very accurate with their paralysis chances, and now Samarius too. Interesting. So, yeah. In my playthrough, no one has Royal Guards, because I'm, I'm definitely cheesing the uh, entire playthrough to get through it quickly, so I can unlock creator mode. But, um... Yep. He's out of MP, there's no reason for that. <clears throat> no problem, Maya. Um... I have a ton of characters because I like completionism. I haven't even tried the two skull quests. <laughs> Got you. So, yeah, by all means, man, indulge yourself. I definitely did on my first time unlocking that mode. So. Um, now I want to listen to uh, Gangplank theme from LOL. <laughs> I don't know LOL very, very much. Like, I played it when it, very, when it first launched for a couple years. Um, but now I just can't stand the game. <laughs> No, no hate towards people who are fans. I, I totally understand the, the love of the game, but like, yeah, that style of game is not for your boy, <laughs> apparently. So, number one, I'm not good at them. Number two, I hate the toxicity, <laughs> so. and it's definitely present. I feel like I get almost as much from the music on your channel as the gameplay. You have great taste. Thank you. Um, uh, now, to be fair, <laughs> um, two points. Number one, I am in the music business. So, of course, you know, I'm going to have um, a lot more listening experience than most, I would say. Um, but um, so I think that maybe play a big part. But also, 
Uh, I didn't know what type of tracks were going to be on this, so there, it's kind of luck of the draw. But I listened to a few tunes before I decided to shuffle it on today's stream. Um, and from the tunes that I listened to, they they were good. They were good. So not one that I didn't like. Some some are a little generic, I will say. But um, you know, mostly it's you know banging music. Ooh, wow, pick. Look at that magic down increase damage there. Nice. <clears throat> Royal Guards are awesome. Uh, RG Assassin is just crazy strong. I know. Dancer Lancer combo is very, very good. In fact, I would say it's the best combo in the game. Your cross classing mages are always a, a welcome sight, but when it comes to just raw variety and being a jack of all trades character. Those two right there is where it's at. Boom. Done. Uh, if I could stop getting your units uh, killed or causing you to miss. Well, we won the fight today, so... <laughs> Unless you were the one who got Mr. Bones killed, then we'll have to have a chat later. Uh, in my Shinobi playthrough, I used Grand Wave a total of maybe 12 times. It paralyzed every time. Really? Really? I don't remember what playthrough it was. Um, it was recent, I think. I think it may have been, may have been the last one. But uh, it was a certain playthrough that it was just not happening the entire time. And I used Grand Wave a bunch in that playthrough. I just couldn't get paralyzed. So it happened near the end um, a couple times, but... The majority of the time, nothing. Nothing. But today, it happened four times. <laughs> Meaning, like, both units got paralyzed. But two times I used it. Used it two times, paralyzed four units. Right in a row. That was on PC. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, and welcome to the stream. In my Shinobi playthrough, I used Greenway Total Me. Oh, I read that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I feel like I missed out. My Della wasn't paralyzing every time. Your Della wasn't paralyzing every time? You made Della a royal guard? That's possible with enlightenment scrolls, but are you sure you're saying this? That you're talking about the same person? I know Della can paralyze with Luring Step, but she doesn't have Grain Wave. Okay, Morelva got three knights wounded this time around. I was going to say, please stay away from me. <laughs> I just use a panacea. So. All right, fam. That was really successful. They did not take a single castle. We defended successfully. Toby solo doloed over here. And they did not have a chance to take this castle right here, which Sophie is now restored. So we now have to bounce back somewhat now. Okay. So we have a choke point here. I'm trying to see if there's any teams I can free up. Um, I can free up this team because I can usurp the combat power here for the final fight. Uh, Rudo will be wounded, so this is now the time to take out Mana Silesia. And Morelva in the same turn, maybe. Depends on this team right here against this team. Whatever they drum up over there. Uh, so I can send this team somewhere else. I don't know where that's going to be. Probably with the choke point over this way. Because Dezenis is now in a team with Kate and Hazarov. So this team's decent. However, I might go here because of the combat power difference. Yeah, this team seems more supportive there. So I think we'll go ahead and Flip those here. We're going to take Kate for sure and, and, and Dezenis. I don't know where Hazarov's going at the moment, but whoops. Over there. Because I can, um, well, no, I have to, de I'm defending this with one team here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, 
I guess just in case they have more combat power here, I should reinforce that. <laughs> that would be smart, right? Uh, but I don't know if I have the manpower for that either. It may have to be this team doing that. Hmm. We'll see. If that's the case, that castle could be in trouble. This cannot be taken. I still may have to abandon this one, actually. Okay, hang on. Um, Sophie, what do you have? Right, okay. Um. Yeah, I think that can work out well. Yeah, we have to abandon this again this round. So they're going to get a free castle, for sure. I'll move her over there as well. Okay, I know that Toby's here. Hang on. If it's Toby, Hate, and Dezenis, that's really good. Um, that means we can afford to quest Hazarov, or we'll just use Hazarov and quest Kate for the final level. Yeah, because she'll get 10 if we quest her now. If she's successful in training, um, she will be. But, yeah, let's do that. So, stay here. Dezenis and Hazarov move up here with Toby. Sophie... Quests. I really want another night, but... <sighs> Sorry fam, sore shoulders. We did a massive shoulder workout last night. Um, pretty sure Maya did it today and on Friday, yeah, probably. So. All right, just challenge mode for me, I guess. I feel like I missed out. My Della wasn't. Yeah, um, I'm curious. I know Dancer gets all the crit, but I still prefer the tanky stats and Grand Wave more than that. Got you. Yeah, but combine them together and you get best of both worlds, you know. So and the magic spells too. Uh, the faint chance with those AOE skills that hit everything in a radius was increased as well. I swear, once I got a seven faints and seven hits, yeah, that's pretty nuts too. I got a big one too, I think, the last time I streamed with the that Simmer um, uh, Roar or whatever. Does the chance to faint go up when you class up the Simmer? Oh, they probably use Dilla in challenge mode. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So I finished the story modes and won't go back. Challenge mode is so much more fun. Right, right, right. Um, same for me too. I probably would stick with challenge mode and creator mode um, for the rest of the time playing the game. So, unless I'm really feeling a story, then I'll go back, but, yeah, I've experienced all six, so I'm good. Great stories, though. So, Gustavo's still best story, in my opinion. That's a question. Who, if, if you, whoever has played all six storylines, with no spoilers in chat, because Maya is new, um, who is your favorite storyline country? So... Uh, Gustavo versus Shinobi for the continent. If Rudo joins them too, just start over. <laughs> right. So that's going to be so much fun. It's like taking two factions and giving them the, the entire map to play with. Right. East versus West or West or North versus South. You know, do it however, however you want to. But that would be really cool. So uh, the first one I'm going to delve into, though, is definitely Gaimol West versus Mana Silesia East. The entire map. So gonna be dope if Rudo and Stella join Shinobi tribe please stop stop it stop it I don't need that kind of bad luck in challenge mode you have to fight the final boss too I don't I have no idea if you unlock Aurora the AI can get her too um yes yes anybody can get anybody that's the gist of it so 
I've never gotten her or Zawar. Got you. Yeah, I think Zawar is what? Zawar is 25k. No, 25k is that secret character, whatever you said. I think Zawar is 20,000. I don't know. You, you guys can remind me. Um, extra SS for wounding them, so I'd rather the enemy gets them. Oh, that makes sense. So strategy score increases if you kill them. Uh, it does go up, but I would need to check to confirm, right? So, Kajik, welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? Uh, Joseph Kelsey, welcome to the stream as well. How are you? Just found this game and played so much over the weekend. What a gem. It is a gem, man. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Are you a fan of the old games or are you a new player? So, also, who are you playing uh, first in this playthrough? You have six choices. So, Gaimul was a pretty good story when I paid attention to it, but the hour of exposition before I, I actually got to play the game burned me out on, on fluff. Got you. So, yeah, if you're getting burned out on a, a lot of exposition, just skip it. Right? Even if you're streaming. <laughs> so, just skip it. Alright, so she's questing at training grounds. She will get pushed out of there, which is fine. I have to give them this castle. Um... Azarov is going to quest as well. No. Kate is staying here. Hang on. She's staying here and... No, this team is going to uh, that castle. Kate is going to do training grounds for her final level. That's right. That was my intention, so... Okay. One time. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, go for class-ups now. There we go. Mr. Bones made room, but I miss him. No. Uh, so sad. I'll take a Seraph, though. We will honor your memory. We have a healer there. Uh, or we could go for two elementals. Possibly. Can I cap off the bottom? Um, not quite. Not quite. Do this at least, though. 69. We did it again. Um, that's cap right there. Nice. Can't quite get cap here, but no biggie. Hang on. If I go like that, can I flip one more? Yep. No, that's losing. Here it is. There we go. Okay. 79 or 75 rather, should I say. Um, that's going to be... A unicorn and an elemental. There we go. There we go. Pull out more. MP is good. Intelligence is eh. Try that again. You're new? Playing Shinobi Tribe? Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, Shinobi Tribe I think is very good for uh, for new players for sure. So. How far are you into the campaign? I'll take that too. All right. Oh man, I so missed dragging uh, these right here, like clicking and dragging the monsters. I'm so spoiled now, man. I'm so spoiled on the PC version. <laughs> My God. Please. Uh, let's see. Aurora is so hard to take down. Zawar runs straight in and gets beat up. Yeah. Well, he has a double action, too, so you look out for that. Uh, so Zawar 
share the same AI as Stella. Right. Uh, keep a seat at the table for Mr. Bones. I will. I will. We'll make sure that he gets in there at some point. But again, I can't quest for items at the current time. Um, I have to make sure I'm getting level still and then, you know, taking out these last two castles here. So Shinobi Tribe is going to be tough to take down with that main team of Rubino, Talia, and um, Eliza. That's a trifecta right there, man. So, and if they get Stella and Rudo, that's going to be another problem. So, I don't have one single ruler on my team. So. I don't think they can join because I have uh, I have Cap Knights. So, is there a chance that they can still uh, join me even if I have uh, 20 right now? I can just delete somebody in their place. Shinobi Tribe is your favorite story-wise? It did have a great story. I really enjoyed uh, Sid's character arc. So, really cool. Um, pretty far. Just two more tribes to beat out. Uh, I think I'm ready for hard difficulty. Hell yeah, man. Go to it. Go to it. Or you can do the custom difficulty setting, too. You know, make it even tougher for yourself if you want. But, um, yeah, that's fun to delve into. Custom difficulty. In fact, I, I, I always do custom difficulty uh, ever since it came out. It's just... Because you can just do generic hard mode from that menu, but, you know, tweaking certain things to make it a tiny bit harder, a tiny bit easier for yourself is always fun. So... Um, I am using controller because I'm lazy. <laughs> Dude, I, I seriously use one hand to play Brigandine now. <laughs> I just use my mouse. You want to talk about lazy? <laughs> my thumb is doing all the work right here on the PC version. And this goes and just drags monsters around and stuff. It's it's even lazier. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, I mean, I guess it may be equivalent if you think about it. But two hands as opposed to one hand, I think I'm being more lazy than you are. You want to fight me on being lazy? Let's go. <laughs> um, green, blue, and red. I know. It's so scary. It's so scary. So. Okay. Where else did we fight? Uh, did we fight one? No, we fought two, didn't we? Uh, Where else did we fight? I thought we just fought two times. It must have just been once, huh? No, it was the Morella fight. Right, 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 right. So, we have nothing going on over here. Any losses, though? No, we, we came out clean. We came out clean. All right. Okay, we got to start moving here. Um. All right, so team's going to defend this. We've got team of three defending that. That's good. We might do an attack here, depending on this team. So, get ready on this one, possibly. Going to the ca that castle, though, is scary. <laughs> I don't like that map at all. Um, that's going to take him for free. Because they're probably not going to move from here. We'll see. Okay. Save. Always used... I always use two hands, right? So. Well, if you if you need a cold one, then you can just play Brigandine in one hand and drink in the other. So. Um, I'm not using the PC because I don't have challenge mode unlocked on PC. I have to literally beat every single campaign all over again and unlock all the characters. Um, well, at least get at least see all the characters at least one time, which requires significant playthroughs of all six factions. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, otherwise, yes, I would be. But the PC version just came out on the 11th, and I'm still trying to blitz my way through the first playthrough. And I'm close. It's very close. But, yeah. I wouldn't have used uh, PC anyways, because I wouldn't have had nearly as much knights unlocked as I do here. Um, I could have gotten all the base knights unlocked. Um, if, I st if you start a playthrough in every single country and do a save file... Uh, not even a save file, I don't think. But regardless, save a playthrough of all six countries at the beginning, and you can unlock all of those for challenge mode, assuming that you've already beaten the game once. So um, you'll just not have a ton of freelance knights, um, but maybe a decent amount from what you unlocked on your first playthrough, depending. So, Okay, that's going to be a ballsy fight right there. Um, what are we up against? Okay. She's not going to come off the castle, so we're going to have it in for us on that one. Heals galore there, too. 
Hopefully this can defend. Honestly, I would prefer she came in and try to attack me here, because if she's suicidal, <laughs> sure, we'll uh we'll use that to our advantage. Um, yes, they will be taking this for free with their big ass team, twenty thousand against zero. Congratulations. Uh, this right here, that's not bad. We can take that. Um, it has to be with this team though. So we're gonna commit to this one. What time is it? Okay. Oh God, I have to get off here in like twelve minutes. <laughs> All right, that's fine. So. Um, we'll up the attacks and then save it in mid-fight and we'll pop off, so. But we got a lot done today. I think three battles total, maybe four. Nearly done with this uh, challenge mode, fam. It's just Shinobi Tribe after this round. Boom. Alright, what's this looking like? No Rudo. We do have Sin, Alsin, and Veda. All right, sounds good. Pretty cool. I think that's all the attacks. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. There's the map. We're close. We're close. Our strategy score seems pretty low comparative to uh, what you need for the achievement. Um, that being the case, man, like you really have to pump out the defensive battles, huh? Right, save that there. Um, I switched between controller and keyboard controller for battle, uh, keyboard for out of combat. Got you. I don't use the keyboard at all except to uh, turn the camera in in battle because I don't I don't know how to rebind the those two um, uh, buttons. It's four and six on the numpad, but it doesn't correlate to the the mouse right there. It's numpad specific. So I can't rotate the camera and battle with my mouse, unfortunately. But it's literally the only thing I can't do with the mouse only. So everything else in the game, I can get done with just a mouse. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to figure out what I want to prioritize after work. Stream highlights, Rogue Tech, Game Dev, Elden Ring, or Grinding Quest, Phantoms to eventually finish Brigandine. Uh, it's, all up to, it's all up to you, man. Whatever you're feeling. So... Uh, just cut the piece of shit Gilliam for anyone else, right? I know, I know. So he's been he's been uh, he's been killing it lately, though. He we've gotten some good kills with him, but uh, yeah, his room power just does not stack up. Um, if you want to cheese it, turn on the easiest settings um, and use all elementals, right? Right, right, right. Uh, if you want to cheese it, just make them hug their castles while you pelt pelt them alive with anything that has range, right? Exactly. Um. Yeah, Tech, you have a good one too. So good luck later on today with work and if you're streaming later. Um, I just turned on auto and fast forward. Uh, Elementals took care of it all. Oh, you mean on um, just like the PC version or whatever, your first playthrough? So you mass summoned Elementals and they killed everything? Is that what we're saying here? Oh. Pirate music for Stella? What do you mean? Oh, I mean like going up against her when I fight her? Well, I'm not going to be committing to another fight today. I'm going to be ending here right now because... Um, I was going to end at 1 p.m. and it's nine minutes away. I do have work um, pretty soon. So uh, best method is to use two night squads. So you're at the minus 20% power and the win with one or two nights. Wait, what? It's to use two night squads. So you're at the minus 20% power and the win with... Oh, you're, you're talking about the strategy score thing. Okay, I got you. I got you. So... We go all right anyways all right fam thank you so much for joining me today i'm going to call it here uh, because work is soon i do have to get something to eat before going to work um i really appreciate you guys joining me for today and uh, we will definitely be continuing this on thursday uh friday and saturday this weekend this time i know i took the last two off because of my job but um i will be free this saturday for sure to make sure we're doing a whole bunch of challenge mode if it comes to that we may finish before then i don't know um but uh, Shinobi Tribe, I think, will keep us pinned down for quite some time until the weekend is here. So, And we got to get Mr. Bones back, so i got to do some questing. Anyways, thank you ever so much once again. I'm your host, Valgo Snari. If you want to see any more bringing resources like the Discord server, get your asses in there. It is down in the description below, along with my guide video, play guide video playlist if you are wanting extra help with the game. I, again, am your host, Valgo Snari, and I will see you on the Battlefield Runa Nights. Peace. Bye. I'll see you Thursday. Cheers.